also look at the future of water in Southern Colorado. Yeah, it's the 25th year of the Arkansas River Basin Forum held today and tomorrow in Pueblo. Our Bill Folsom looking to some of the key water issues in this key resource. Bill. Yeah, the river is an essential natural resource and economic driver. It's the source of water for communities, irrigation for agriculture, a home for fisheries and wildlife, and a mecca for outdoor recreation. It is a limited resource and demand is increasing as our state's population continues rapidly growing. Where water flows, you'll typically find people nearby. Water to drink, for crops, for fun. In Pueblo, the Arkansas River is a big reason for the name Steel City. The one reason why Colorado Fuel and Iron came here was because they had access to cooling water and water to run their, their steel plant. One river supplying a resource for multiple demands, all with justifiable importance. You have this incredible leveraging of what in the big picture is a really a fairly small river on the surface of the earth. Um, doing a tremendous amount of economic good. Rather than compete and clash, groups with interest in the Arkansas River created a forum 25 years ago. They get together to collaborate. This year, they're looking at things like the weather pattern over the past 20 years, causing extreme ups and downs to the water supply. We've had three distinct really bad drought periods, 2002, 2010, and we just finished 2018, which, was, which were terrible water years for for everybody. It's a discussion of how to manage water if the pattern continues, then add in the issue of Colorado's rapid population growth. Researchers with the state see the potential for demand outpacing water supply. The Arkansas Basin, um, there's a significant gap when you, when you look out to 2050, and how that gap is addressed um, is, is really important to our future. The importance of this topic is beyond local interest. The keynote speaker this morning was Senator Cory Gardner. Rob Elizabeth.